Welcome back, Achievers, to your Resident Evil Village spoiler cast. Ooh. Look at our cool borders. We got a little thing going on yeah, here. I'm like this. a mime. For the audio listeners, I'm miming in the box. Mm, you're like... Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, Alex, we played Resident mm. Evil Village. Yes, we did. And we completed it. You completed it much quicker than I did. I finished yes. it last night. Mm-hmm. I finished it about two days ago. Okay, so still fresh on your mind. So. Really quickly. Yeah. Just in case you don't know what a spoiler cast is, we talk about spoilers mm-hmm. in a podcast format. We are the Easy Achievers. I am Elijah. This sitting across from you, this beautiful young man, is named Alex. We come and have a regular show every single Friday where we just discuss gaming news. And we discuss, and we discuss other topics as well. But today we're talking about Resident Evil Village. Alex, really quick, brief. What is mm-hmm. your history with Resident Evil? So I'm not a Resident Evil. Uh, what's the word? Extremist. Okay. I guess Extremist. Say. All right. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've played most of them. Okay. And I, I, I can pretty, t- I can pretty much tell, like you know. Do you remember them? The ones yeah. you played. Yeah, the ones I played. Yeah. Can you tell me them? Hmm. I tried. Resident Evil 1. Okay. And I was not a fan of the camera. Of course. No. Yeah. Tank controls, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Two, it was fine. Uh, I I, I'm, I guess I wasn't used to that because I was so used to four and yeah. five. It's always so different. Three, I did not try. I, I think I tried to demo and I was just not a fan that Nemesis could get into your save point. Was not a fan. Mm-hmm. Um, four, I played. That one was fun. I played that. I've played. I've beaten that one once, but it was so long ago. And then I'm just because I think aren't they remastering that one? Yes. Yeah, so I'm just waiting on to play that again so I can do it there. Five, we played together. It's the one in Africa. That one was yep. fun. Mm-hmm. Six, I hated it. Mm-hmm. Um, it was just so long. It was like twenty hour game, and I was like, why? When is this ending? Mm-hmm. Uh, seven, I enjoyed. It was so scary. Mm-hmm. And now eight, and I you enjoyed know? this one. So you, I mean, you. It sounds like you've sampled. Essentially, every Pretty main much. line. Mm-hmm. And um, I've tried the Revelations ones. Yeah. They weren't bad. So mine's a lot shorter. Mm-hmm. One, like everyone, I have tried it and then realized how terrible it was and didn't play it. Two, mm-hmm. fell in love with. Head over heels, played all the way through on Leon. I did want to do... Um, blanking on her name right now, but I wanted to play with the second character, but I... I something else came out and I went and played that instead. Mm-hmm. Three did not play. I have it. I want to play it. Haven't mm-hmm. haven't got around to. It. I didn't hear it was great. Four never touched before. That's another game I have, but haven't really played. Five I played all the way through when it came out with my dad. Actually, mm-hmm. uh, I think I was like fifteen at the time or something. Maybe even younger than that. I can't remember. But I played five when it came out. Six I I played that too. I played as Leon's story. That was it was fine i didn't like it it, was, it mm. wasn't really good um seven i played all the way through enjoyed it quite a bit it was very scary i liked it liked it, it a lot seven i even played in vr i did not play in VR. it was oh it was hard yeah it's good it's good i really liked seven and that brings yeah. us to eight alex mm-hmm. resident evil village yes a little bit behind the scenes on other people's thoughts on the game. Like, you know, it's gotten pretty high scores. I've seen kind of mixed. Some people really like it. Some people think it's whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I first off, what do you think of the game? I enjoyed it. Um, I don't love the game, mm-hmm. but I really liked the game. And I'm actually it, it does want me we're going to talk about more about this in a minute, we are. but the game has of a, a kind of of a completion thing to it where like, you know, you can get certain things and mm-hmm. you can, you want it, you like, it makes me want to go back and get all the items mm-hmm. and I didn't. So I want to play new game plus and do that. Mm-hmm. And for everyone who just wants spoilers, we'll have a time code at the bottom for you. So just check that description for me, but uh, I'm similar. I liked it a lot. Uh, did I love it? No. There's a lot of weird decisions in in part. Um, I don't want to completely make this a review, but I did want to take the first few minutes and discuss our thoughts of our total of the game, and then we could jump into the actual spoilers and discuss it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so far, my my thoughts on the game are like 
I, I, again, I liked it, but there were a lot of decisions throughout the entire game. I went, why did you do this? That that is like a theme. The level mm-hmm. design for one is a big like. Why is this a thing? Two, um, the dialogue from Ethan Winters is <laughs> cringeworthy. Every time he says almost anything, it is like like mind numbingly terrible. And no offense, I you know this is not. I don't. Me and me and Alex always preface this. This is no offense to anyone. Yeah, but the writing was terrible for him. His it's dialogue like, was not delivered well by whoever voice acted. Yeah, it's just the outtake of everything together. It just nah, it did not. It wasn't compelling enough. Yeah. As an example, I think uh, uh, there's one point in the game, it, it, and again, this is a spoiler cast, so you know, you you probably know what I'm talking about. It's mm-hmm. when you fought Monroe, and you hit a button, and a, a a boat comes up, and he goes, "That's a big catch," and it's just like. Ah, like well, that's not good a line like at yeah. all the delivery like, wasn't there mm-hmm. either and he's he's and he's making this joke while this giant fish is trying to kill him and he hasn't acted like that before so he's always been afraid of things mm-hmm. uh and don't get me started about all the weird decisions with like the amount of times he could fight somebody and just lets them push him around is weird yeah in this game uh, specifically the Monroe section. That was super strange. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a lot of problems with the game. I, I, again, after, at the end of the day, I liked the game. And mm-hmm. you, you said you were. Now, I want to get straight into spoilers. Okay. The ending. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to talk to you about. Because I'm a little confused if I'm being honest. Mm-hmm. So I brought up to you that Rosemary, at the end of the game... Mm-hmm. It you I brought up like it's cool she has powers and you said she's Evelyn. Mm-hmm. So can you explain that so to me? I'm confused. I I, I, I I'm I'm pretty sure she is because the bodyguard joked with her and called her Evelyn. Which why why would that if, if I don't see it as a joke? It could, I would assume because. When Mother Miranda was trying to resurrect her child, I'm assuming yeah. her name was Eva, Eve, something like that. I think. Yeah, Eva. Which is Evelyn, weird that and Evelyn, Evelyn is Eve, the, you know, yeah. and Evelyn is the girl from Resident Evil Seven. Right? Yes, the little girl. Yeah, the okay. little girl that was in charge, okay. right? and it was like she was taken by the Baker family, and then she did all that shit to the Baker family. Yeah, yeah, she transformed them all into the weird mm-hmm. mold people. So yeah, there's Evelyn. But remember, from she always game. wanted to be a family. Yeah, she always wanted to be. So, so it's Evelyn from the last game. Mm-hmm. Eva is Mother Miranda's dead kid. And we have Rosemary. And now what you're telling me is Rosemary could be Evelyn or part of Evelyn or something like that, right? Yeah, because remember when um, um, when Ethan is dead... Yeah. Uh he sees the Evelyn. He's like, "Oh, Evelyn, what do you what are you doing here?" And she and, she, and he, she starts explaining everything. And I I wonder like why he saw her or if she's still in the in the consciousness or she's still part of everything. She's not right. dead. Right. What what I took from that was the mold like like imprints you or something maybe mm-hmm. maybe she is physically the mold and she can't die because like that's her mm-hmm. but then Some when mother Anna resurrected thing. her and you saw it's still rosemary it's yeah. technically evelyn yes i'm still a little confused because, on a lot of this game because rosemary, not just this, so. rosemary knows who evelyn is because when the, the the bodyguard is like, oh, uh, is like you know called her Evelyn, and she yeah. he was, she was like, don't call me that. Yeah. My name is Rose. Like she knows who it is. Well, she identifies as Rosemary, obviously, because she's going to Ethan's and grave mm-hmm. and calling him father. So yeah, because and I think it is. I mean, Rosemary, but also Evelyn. It's it's weird. I I I I could see. I think I think it's what you just said there. It's Rose and Evelyn have like combined. Mm-hmm. in some way now the ending with the car stopping to the human male i couldn't yeah i was trying so, to see that and i couldn't so, so someone so, modded the the camera and okay. pushed it all the way over there 
Okay. The motto that they're using is Ethan Winners. So I don't know if that's just a placeholder for like the next game. And it's maybe. you're not, you know, you're not meant to know who that is. It's it's meant to be maybe a character we haven't seen yet. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. That was weird. The car drives, it stops, you just see a figure there, nothing happens, and it just ends. So that was confusing. I doubt they're going to bring Ethan back, but I mean, maybe no, Res- it's it even said at the end that the father's story is done, meaning maybe we'll get more about. I'm hoping we play as Rose. I'm hoping we yeah. play as Rose next game. Well, I'm looking, that- through, I'm trying to find stuff and it says Rosemary has a unique connection to Evelyn because of the parents. And I'm assuming because Ethan was dead and he's part part of the mold and he was already part of the mold when they conceived rosemary so he's he was part by the way because he was already he's been dead for three years we haven't talked about this yet yeah so this man dies at the beginning of resident evil 7 and he is now a mold from that point on yeah he's been dead is it kind of lame that he still bleeds right like no, kind of I mean, weird. Because right? when you fight Jack, he's part mold and he just regenerates and he that's bleeds true. and stuff. That's true. You still bleed. It's just kind. It was just kind of strange. He, just, he, he, just, he, he still he had a heart and everything. Like I that mean, was you saw game. he didn't anymore at the end. So that's probably why he started dying. No, no it was because the mold so? was dying. Right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I think it was just because the mold heart was dead. So mm-hmm. there's a lot of weird things in this game, and I mean, hey, I guess that's classic Resident Evil. I w- me. Like Alex and I preface at the beginning, we're not like diehard fans. I barely understand the lore in this game. Yeah. I I I wish at some point they would go, this game is before this game. And maybe there is. Maybe mm-hmm. there is. I have no idea where we are. Yeah, like... We, like is this a new story? This? Are we after five? Are we before five? I assume we have to be after five because Chris looks way older than he did in those games. So... Mm-hmm. What is going on? Is Star still a thing? Because that's what he was a part of. And he's part of Umbrella from the last game. But we have no mention of that in this game. It's except like him having the force. And now we have the... Who was it, Alex? The USSA? What was it? USFA people? <laughs> that are bio-mutant zombie now, right? I think... Do you remember yeah, what I'm talking think, about? Yeah, yeah you're the, talking about the dude with the, with the, the, with people, the armor? Well, the people came down, right? When when you reach um, the village to kill uh, Mother Miranda as Chris Redfield. Mm-hmm. You look over and they see like, oh, hey, those guys are here. What, what was the oh, name of them? U- um, USA or USF oh, or something like that? Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I, I, UFA or something like that. It yeah. was something like that, But yeah. then they take one of their bodies and notice that they're zombies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that they're bio mutants. Yeah, bio weapon, whatever. Bio weapons, yeah, yeah. So, like, are we, I assume we're years after five then, right? Because, like, seems like everyone was cool with Umbrella. Mm-hmm. So, like, I guess nothing came out about them. I don't know. I'm just very confused on the story. And, and maybe that's my fault. Maybe I should read a Wikipedia. But I very much think the game should be describing to me at least the bare minimum of the story. If mm-hmm. at all, I, I just have to read some emails not you know that's not incredibly exciting but i at least get some intel on the game yeah i'm i was trying to look up like where in the time life it takes place and it's like because i know it's 2021 so like yeah but like is that does does that matter in resident evil i don't even know what time ply and the other stuff plays in the seven took place between it was in 20 that would have been 27 2017 2018 yeah yeah it's been three years so Weird, Dude, weird. Yeah. Now, uh, Alex, spoiler cast. We already kind of talked about the Evelyn thing. We we seem to be on the same boat. We don't really understand what's going on. So I want to mm-hmm. talk about the actual beat by beat gameplay. Would you mm-hmm. like that? Sure. So we start off the game. I, I don't really want to talk about the beginning part. I don't think it's very interesting. Alex, do you disagree? Do you want to talk about it? I mean, you just start in the house. You talk about yeah. stuff. Okay. You go to the village. Um, what did you think of the opening scene? So for me, the opening scene, very, very underwhelming. Like I was uh, not scene? feeling it. Everything in the beginning from when you crash mm-hmm. as soon as you can walk. All that to me was boring. I liked I think- the lead up to lichens. Like I was I was getting scared, mm-hmm. you know, and I was getting I was getting worried. And then we see them. And then like we get like 
the like kind of like oh you have to survive run around like that was super boring like i'm just no, running yeah, around I, like in a circle like what do i do and it, like yeah, that, it was more boring than scary yeah i was the beginning part was fine like it's, it's like you know it, it gave me a lot of outlast vibes at the very 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 beginning when you're in the woods and yeah. the thing and it was like okay i'm getting i'm walking somewhere i'm thinking i'm like oh we're gonna hit the village sometime soon and it's you can tell that they're trying to be scary because like you go down to the yeah. attic and it's of like course. everything crashes. You hear all the crashing. Me and me and the wife were really scared at that point. We we're like, oh, what's that? Like, mm-hmm. I wonder what that is because you know I didn't know what it was either. Could have been zombie. Could have been the like and people that I saw on the gameplay. I don't know, but it was it was scary. I like I liked that part, but as soon as you get into the village, that's when it was like, how long is this? This is yeah, not when- really compelling. Yeah, once I got into the village, and um, it's funny because like once you get into the house and you see the dude with the shotgun, he's like. <laughs> he's with the shotgun and i'm like dude all right relax <laughs> they're coming oh <laughs> and i'm like and, kill this guy please yeah and then like and then that thing like tears your hand off and apparently <laughs> it's they, these these developers hate this guy's limbs dude this limbs like, constantly getting tore off yeah no like oh. That it's not even let's not even start that yet. No, 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 not yet. Uh, we skip through that. We get to the Luisa part. We we look at all these characters and we go, "You guys are fucking dead in like ten oh, seconds." Yeah, <laughs> like sure. like this is Resident Evil, not like like your guys are dead. And yeah. lo and behold, guy who got was injured, very mm-hmm. much like a zombie movie where like you let an infected in, and they didn't do anything about it, and he yep. just got infected and killed everybody. Woohoo! Mm-hmm. Yep. So, and then of course the chick that you think you're like oh she's gonna help me throughout the game nope she did burns viciously, in a fire viciously murdered in front of your eyes and also kind of a lame way too she yeah, was she like, just like she was like false. dad i'm like come on man like who yeah, acts right. like this no one is doing that and no one is seeing because- their father as a werewolf and going well, let me go help him and not even that it's like right after right before that literally he was like he's like stop it and shoots over him with a shotgun like with no hesitation yeah he definitely like did. really like she was so back and forth. We get past that. We um, get captured. Very big theme in this game: getting captured. Uh, and um, that good old you. Uh... You escape the Lycan people because he like wants to play a game. I guess. Yeah, Heisenberg. He's a very like... terrible game. Like no one was anywhere near me. Like I was running and I was like, "Oh, this is so scary!" Like just messing with my wife. But like at the end of the mm-hmm. day, I was like, "At no point did I feel like I was in danger in any of that." <laughs> I felt no. like I was like I was scot free. Then you go to Castle Dimitrescu. 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 Is uh, silent, I believe. Thank you. Dimitrescu. Ooh. Did I love that gothic vibe? Did I love oh, yeah. the history that I felt throughout the walls? Did I love those daughters? Yes. Did I love that giant vampire lady? You goddamn right I did. Mm-hmm. And then I realized this is going by kind of fast. Mm-hmm. And then you kill one of the daughters. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. That was like a fun mini like boss fight. Then you kill the next two in like 30 minutes. And then mm-hmm. you fight Dimitrescu, and I'm like, uh, wait. So, Alex. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was watching some trailers about this game. Mm-hmm. I thought Dimitrescu was going to be a way bigger deal in this game. Oh, same. And I'm almost disappointed. Mm-hmm. And haha, horny guy, whatever. Like, you can make the jokes or whatever. Yeah. I loved, like, the, the feel of the castle. The design mm-hmm. there was amazing. I oh, loved for sure. everything like, about dude, it. I loved the I, little bell puzzle. Mm-hmm. that was fun and dude like, it, i was there for so long i'm like okay where's number four where's number I, four i literally looked over i had four and i looked over to my wife and i was like it's out the fucking window isn't it because we were looking around for like five minutes mm-hmm. and i was like is it out the window and i shoot the window out and it's sitting right there and i'm like those mother like and then mm-hmm. i just shoot the bell like that, so far that, away that, like, that was classic resident evil yeah and and I I was so, so, I loved all this part. And I was so, so disappointed when you kill her. I was oh, so dude. disappointed. Dude, I was so I was... hyped about the poison dagger. Mm-hmm. And, and like, you just, you just, you just, just stab her a little bit and that's it. You, there you go. Like, I really there thought like she would come back. But like, throughout the, like, what was it? Throughout the, the whole time of me being in the castle, like right, right after I killed the first daughter. Yeah. And I was like how long am i in the game so far i was only like two three hours into the game i was yeah, like that's like two hours yeah. did i kill the 
daughter already and then it killed the second one they killed the third one i was like okay hold on at that point not even four hours in the game yet yep at that point i realized like oh no this is so short i thought the castle was going to be like this multi-tiered for sure you hit this part you get this part you'll eventually get out and go back to the village maybe maybe you come back i I really thought the castle was the main part of the game and I be I'm not gonna lie to you, I was disappointed. I wanted to learn more about Dimitriska. I love reading the notes about the numerous people that they've had work for them over the years. Mm-hmm. The different types of people that are like, uh, I saw like Lydia the other day and now she's dead. What's going on? And mm-hmm. then like the little, you know, like other stories about people going crazy. You hear about the labyrinth guy who built four great labyrinths and then blew his mm-hmm. brains out. Like there's so many cool like, parts. In I that was castle. hoping like out of all the people uh lady d would have been kind of like jack you fight her a little bit she leaves comes Comes back back. you fight her again she leaves comes back and then she's like the main boss at the end i wanted more about the daughters they seem Mm -hmm. cool too like i wanted more of the story of creepy as it is with the bug thing but like yeah they're terrifying I, yeah. loved, I loved the 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 bug take. I love oh, when like they were coming out my arms. Mm-hmm. Like that was terrifying. Like I, like I literally was at a moment where I was running away from Lady D because I had just came back from an elevator. Mm-hmm. I uh, I opened the door. All I see her is go. Phew! She was like, mm-hmm. "You little man thing." I was like, yeah. "Oh no!" Yeah. I turned the corner, turned around, walked into the main lobby by the by the stairs, and bugs start coming. I'm like, "Damn it!" Yeah. And I was like, "I was like, it was fun because I was like, oh, I'm running." Yeah, you're scared. You know, you're, there's like a survivor horror thriller yeah, it's like part the of intensity. it. And, and yeah, it's very intense. I loved that part. Yeah, and but then I'll you be kill honest, them like and, yeah, and I'll be honest, Alex, I don't think you really ever get back to that feeling. I, I got Mm-mm. that same feeling at one point. I had the I I had just run from from Lady Demircheski. I turned this corner. I know I have to get past that corner because that's where the second face mm-hmm. thing is. I turn the corner. And I see bugs form into a person, and I'm like, oh, 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 and I turn around and run, mm-hmm. trying to get away from her, trying to like sneak around, run around through her. And, and like, I feel like that was almost like the one of the highest part, points of the game. Mm-hmm. You kill Dimitrescu, and then you, and then that's it. And then you get told mm-hmm. like the plot of the game, essentially, like there's three lords now and you can kill them. The Duke's telling you all this stuff, which, mm-hmm. by the way, love the Duke. Duke oh, was dope. No, he's so cool. Yeah. Duke was dope. But he's telling you like the, the you know, the plot the three of the other game. Ones, yeah. And I was like, OK, this is getting a little far cry for me, to be honest. Um, uh, also, they they kind of mm-hmm. let you in like, all right, go choose who you want to fight. And I'm like, uh, you can't really choose. You have to like go to this one because this is the only yeah. key I have. You, you so, need the key and then yeah. you got to combine the key. That's, that's how they had you feel like you could go here. You can fight this person and this person. And I was like, like the only part I enjoyed was like literally when Heisenberg was like, go to the stronghold and that and then come to me. I'm like, okay, at least I know where I'm going. Yeah. So, so yeah. So it's just, there's yeah, the a lot of thing. thing. I wish it was longer. I wish it was way longer. Um, let's let's go to two. So, and uh, let's just save the village stuff for like the end, I guess, because you yeah, kind of yeah, keep yeah. going back and forth to the village. I thought that was a fine part of the game. I really don't it's have fine. anything to say. I liked getting the upgrades and the money. Yes, yeah, but aside from that, I didn't really. Mm-hmm. Care. Now um, this, this this next one was to me the scariest part in the whole game. I agree. The rest uh, after that was no. It, was it needed to be scarier, I think, in the beginning. Because mm-hmm. after a while, I was the like, beginning, yes, because it was taking too long. Because it takes so long to get to the scary part. Because you know mm-hmm. something is coming to get you. Yeah, you know it is. Because when you when you enter a house that's filled with dolls, immediately you know something's gonna have to happen. Mm-hmm. But it took like what twenty minutes for like something to happen. As a kid, I had a huge fear of those dolls too. So I thought oh, I thought yeah. we were gonna be like. I thought these things were going to be like running after me, maybe, you know, you know, remember, um, World War Z, mm-hmm. you know, like kind of like that where they're like climbing on the walls oh, and stuff, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. like, you know, some, you know, something scary. Mm-hmm. And, and all we get is an aborted fetus looking thing. And maybe it's Look, not an aborted fetus. Like that thing or something, was but terrifying it's, to me, man. No, it's terrifying. But like. That was it, though. Like, it's that one thing. Mm-hmm. I never, that thing never got anywhere close to me, even though, oh, no. I even though I, I wasn't in immediate danger, though, the sound was getting to me. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, literally, as soon as um, you open that one door, that you, when, once you got the, the, the last uh, medallion, 
and right. it turns dark and your camera turns to just a flashlight that's i was scary. like oh okay outlast vibes right here all right scary. let's go and then i just started walking and i'm like i see a well i'm like ring mm-hmm. <laughs> i'm like oh no i gotta go down here yeah I, it was pretty like that part terrifying. was intense yeah it was pretty terrifying yeah um that is uh i forget her name how so her name was uh house of benevito benevito Benevento. thank you benevito you said donna uh so the 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 ventriloquist is donna the doll his name is i think uh, angie yeah angie 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 Angie, Angie. um that that was again that could that boss fight could have been more Mm -hmm. it was just finding the doll I was, I was, I was again. That gets another point where I'm like, at first it's very creepy, and yeah, then you realize they're too. not going to do anything to you. And then I was no, like, yeah, all right, like, now I'm just kind of hitting A, looking for this thing, like, and mm-hmm. that wasn't fun. So, yeah, I, th- I think the very beginning, very good. Middle, mm-hmm. once you, once you pass the baby part, it's all just like, no, blah, yeah, it's all just blah. Yeah, and then in my opinion, we get to the worst part of the game, like by <laughs> far. By far, Monroe, anything with Monroe was incredibly boring. Mm. I was not invested in this villain. She looked I like a lame Frankenstein. I didn't care for him. Is it him? She? Whatever. It's Salvatore Monroe. That's his name. It's a guy. Okay, it's a guy. So yeah, mm. this guy, this dude, like part fish, <laughs> weird tentacle monster thing. Mm. And I was just, I did not enjoy this part of the game at all. I, again, this was another part where I was like, I don't feel scared. I, I'm just kind of killing this weird fish thing. What did, what did you think? Um, yeah, no, I did not care either. At all. As soon as I'm like, oh, is, okay, Monroe is uh, the next guy. I was like, okay, I feel like they're not going to be as good. Um, you go into the mines. I'm like, Ugh, okay, mines. I've never been a fan of mines. So and then you start seeing everything and then you walk up to the little room oh, and you see the flask and I'm like, why is it sitting uh, here? I'm like, okay, am I grabbing it? I was and like, oh, we're it. gonna fall for a trap. And literally, and literally, he grabs it, and then Moreau is like, oh no, like literally, <laughs> Alex, that's exactly it, like, and I know the achievers know because they played the game. That's exactly what he does. He goes like, oh no, they're gonna be so mad at me. And he's like limping along, and I'm like. But then he and, and it's and then he tries to be all cool and he's like, ha ha, psych. Yeah, I was like, did you get me? Not First even, off, Ethan, did you like they like? Why are you talking? Why are Literally, we having a conversation with Mar- the thing that has a piece of your baby? Even Moreau says you talk too much. You yeah. should take that into consideration. With the fish man tells you you talk too much. Like I was just like, why are we discussing this right now? Like this, it just doesn't make any sense for the game. I know, I know, everyone's like, oh, you have to progress the story. You know, it doesn't mm-hmm. make sense for you just to shoot the guy there. Then make up a reason why I can't shoot him. Then it's just like, a little silly. Like, literally Ethan try to shoot enti- him, and he just like like a field comes up or something, and he'd so, be like ha ha or something. Like Ethan, work it's repeatedly throughout this whole game has not shown any single it's remorse. Like he, it's like he doesn't care or fear or anything in this game, right? Like it's just uh, uh, someone made um, a really funny Twitter video. I don't remember who tweeted it. I apologize, but it was um every time he said uh what the hell. This man says what the hell a lot. What the hell? What, what the hell is that? Like, like that that is that is yeah. like Ethan Winters. It, like on his gravestone, it should have said Ethan Winters. What, what the, the hell? hell? Mm-hmm. And that's it. Yep. It was just, and I, I I'm done with the Monroe part. Any, anything else? I did not enjoy the Monroe part. As soon as we like honest, like honestly, I didn't even like go like having to walk through the water and everything. I'm just like, yeah. so boring, so boring. Yeah. And then we get to Heisenberg. Mm-hmm. Um, this was more enjoyable than the last. This this I enjoyed, but it was too long. Mm-hmm. Factory was not an interesting place because I think it just all it all looked the same. I think that open conveyor belt area looks so cool, but then mm-hmm. you just go down hallways the whole point, and it's like kind of boring. Um, well, we also went through the stronghold and kill Urius right before the factory to the big werewolf guy. Correct. Thank you, Alex. Yes, stronghold with uh, the beginning werewolf. Big mm-hmm. guy that you see in the very beginning of the game, yeah, yeah, with the big arm, with the big, yeah, 
Correct. You're no, you're you're 100 percent right. Uh, 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 obvious to me that was forgettable because I forgot mm-hmm. about it. So I I didn't. It was whatever. What you what do you think? I mean, yeah, no, I honestly yeah, I thought he would be harder. Oh, I yeah, well, yeah, I destroyed this thing. I had I think I had like six magnum bullets. I think mm-hmm. I shot four at him. I think maybe I shot, was, yeah, yeah. I, was, I, I think, shot yeah, two I and then like a bunch of grenade launcher and then like he would yeah, yeah, like, he he come, yeah. I was like yeah, okay that was, was it like, right, okay. like even the beginning was just more because there was so many people. Yes, I agree with that too. Yeah, um, but, I, but clearly that was forgettable. I forgot about it, so I I don't care about that part of the game. Mm-hmm. Um, then it's the factory for sure. Yes, then it's the factory. Uh, I kind of already gave my um, thoughts about it. I, what, did, I, what did you think? I th- I thought it was fine. Um, sorry, time codes. No, you're, <laughs> you're okay. You're okay. Um, the, I it gave it it gave it more of the Resident Evil feel or mm. I, a little bit too. Um, I, I I respect that actually. I I see where you're coming from. Because like when you're like walking around, when you're walking around, uh, you have to like you know find this key, then you can open this door. And that's very Resident Evil. You gotta go to this place, grab this key, Get find the mold. this mold, make the key, yeah, make the mold, and then you're in, and then right after, then you're fighting people that randomly come up out of nowhere. Like that, that that part was very Resident Evil. That part I agree is actually very Resident Evil, specifically in the part of ammo scarcity. I don't know if you mm-hmm. have this issue around oh, this area, yeah. but I I actually was having issues with ammo. By For the sure. way, we, I haven't brought it up yet. I had ammo like the entire game. Like all oh, yeah. throughout the game, I had plenty of bullets. I should have played this on hard. I at apologize. Point? It probably affected how I lo- thought about the game. But mm. at no point, Alex, was I really worried about dying, which is a well, huge problem. I, 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 I and see with Resident Evil, I always thought you need a lot of health. I had eight health potions on me. Jesus. And I had almost 200 bullets. Jesus. I uh, yeah, I literally just kept crafting handgun yeah. bullets because I the handgun is what I use really use the most. Mm-hmm. And then every once in a while I use shotgun, but like I just kept crafting stuff and I'm like, I'm not using this stuff and I need space, so I just started using my heels every yeah. time I got hit once. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Also, there was weird that there was no stash in this game. There was a stash in seven. Yeah. I don't know what's up with that. Um, like it was like, oh, do you really want to discard this? No, not really. I don't want to at all, but like I don't have a stash. So. Yeah, like there was a stash in seven, like you said. Yeah, so very weird. There was not a stash. Maybe they wanted you to sell stuff. Yeah, because um, you can because, you can make stuff and still sell a bunch of stuff. So they probably wanted you to sell things because uh, they maybe they saw like if you have a stash, you're more likely to hoard stuff. This way, mm-hmm. you are forced to sell items. So I I can see where they're going with that. Um, I just wish I had a stash for all the extra pipe bombs I had. For some reason, I had like ten pipe bombs on me. Oh all god, the time. I had no four idea and I used it at the stronghold and it just killed everybody at once. Oh my god, there was one point um, in was it the stronghold? I don't think it was. I think it was uh, after the factory when you're going through the bridge. Mm-hmm. When there's a bunch of them at some point, it's like when you're trying to get to the chalice, I think, or something. Um, and a okay. bunch just come, a bunch of like it just come out, and I was like, "Oh, that's right, yeah." Boom. Boom. Yep, yep, yep. And I killed like six or seven of them all at once. So mm-hmm. satisfying, so satisfying. Um, but the game, good. Uh, what where were we? Uh, uh Heisen, right after Heisenberg. Uh, you fight, you fight him. Oh yeah, um, you fight Heisenberg. What Alex? I want. You, what did you think of that fight? That is the most unresident evil thing I've ever seen in my life. What? So what did you think? literally. At the bot, when you when you fight when you find Redfield, and he's like, "Hey, go take take that, but don't try to make not don't try to make too much noise." I'm like, "What?" When he casually like, oh. pulls the thing and it shoots a tank shot, and I was like, "I'm gonna ride this thing." This is, I thought I was like, I don't I know I I I don't want to be that like, guy, but really I was like, "This pulled... is a Resident Evil game, right?" Like, what is happening yeah. right now? Like, they they really pull like some type of like Halo thing in a door. This guy is a MacGyver, by the way. And again, oh, dude, he, yeah. they did say Heisenberg made it, so he like fixed it maybe. But mm-hmm. I was like, "You're down here like fixing a tank." I, I don't know. Who cares? Yeah, but but the, the also, boss, they, the boss also, fight was fine. I love that they were like conveniently like it's not made of metal <laughs> like, like they had to like explain like hey it's not made of metal so he can't move it with the electricity i was like all right it's made of like it, it said like a pom- polymer solution or something like that oh uh, yeah okay that's why he couldn't whatever move it, whatever whatever that's um, why you're in the air half the time yeah I, I was like is he moving the stuff around me then like is he pulling like iron and pulling 
it yeah, what it's fine. Okay. Um, um, video games, but yeah, yeah, Heisenberg fight was like again, like I didn't, I wasn't afraid, like I was mm-hmm. just too strong. No, and no, again, no. it's probably my fault. I probably should have played this on hard. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but, no. but Jesus, like I was like. Like, oh, I fell out and I was like, oh, I'm fighting him like normal. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I I like jog away, take out a grenade launcher, reload it. Yep. And then, of course, around. Of course, right after that, you figure out uh, Mother Miranda was actually Mia or all that stuff. Uh, She kills you. I forgot to mention the Mia part in the very beginning. First off, Chris Redfield, tell him that's not his wife. Chris Redfield, tell him it's not his wife. All you had to say is, it's not Mia. You don't even have to explain anything else. That's not Mia. That's yeah. all you had to say. Yeah, You're done. All- he won't fight anymore. Just say, literally, that's not literally, Mia. Literally, all he said was, I'm sorry. I'm da, sorry. Da, 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 da. Shoots Mia 7,000 times. I'm, I love it, by the way. I'm laughing at that point. I, and again, I'm meant to be horrified. I'm over here like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> like ah. Yeah, it's but, like, it, was, it was crazy. All he had to do was say one sentence. He goes that mm-hmm. whole time, by the way. And they bring him like, handcuffed into Mm -hmm. into the the truck and i'm like just say just say it like why didn't you say at any point and they just take rose make it like not a big deal i'm taking your daughter relax bro why you why are you being so weird i like how literally one of the the dudes that are with uh redfield uh by the way the squad is called the hound uh what is it the the hound wolf squad that's the what did you just say to me the hound wolf squad that's what they're called and then one of the dudes is like you should have told him i was like no shit yeah no shit <laughs> but yeah literally right also after- also kind of a dumb name hound yeah. wolf squad like what yeah. oh, are you gonna be called the the like bear grizzlies like yeah yeah i don't i don't i don't understand it's weird but uh yeah mother miranda kills ethan we figure out he's not he's not actually dead uh, then when you play what did as, you think of that. Wait, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to skimp over that. What okay. did? What do you think of that? He's been dead this whole time. He's been a mold person. What is what? Um, it, I to me, it was like I, a, it was a twist. But I was like, mm-hmm. I I don't care. Like I I I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it maybe it is kind of crazy. Like oh yeah, I mean I guess he was a mold this whole time. But it's kind of creepier mm-hmm. than because because like. How would he not know? Why doesn't Mia know and he not he doesn't? Like how does he not know he's made of mold? Well, I assume Mia knew because she was part of the mold and and Jack told her and stuff like that. Like they know. Like I mean, cuz you know Mia was part of that. So like and when Ethan dies and you see them both carrying them mm-hmm. and Ethan comes back, he was he thought he was just unconscious, but then Jack could have told them be like, "Hey, I killed him, but he's back." So but they, we need to, nobody told us. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's mm. pretty weird, I think. Um, and they had, then, they, then he has a baby with Mia, and then it's a, a, a then that's why. That's it's why connected. it's weird. Like well, that's why it's connected to had Evelyn. Sex too. with a mold man. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> like what the? that's why it's connected to Evelyn because Evelyn is the mold. Yeah, I get it. So that's why Rosemary and Evelyn are like together. Make it not weird though, right? If that was Mia, I would have been like. <sighs> yeah yeah can you imagine her she's like she knew the whole time yeah, yeah, yeah she like, knew oh, God. she yeah no she's like mm. he's so oily <laughs> yes. Just hurry up get it over with yep um I, I mean, she could have been into that she's she was maybe, part mold at one point maybe maybe but uh, i w- did you like the twist yes or no maybe that's what i want to know um yes i did i did like it because i wasn't expecting it i like not expecting things and i'm like okay it gives me something else to look forward to okay i i was indifferent like i didn't hate it i didn't like it i i, I was mm. like it seems uh very convenient for the plot in i my wish opinion. they would have i wish they would have done it better but yeah, i like I, agree. I, I like what they were trying to do yeah i agree i agree with that and also like, I, feel, I feel like they should have told us like i feel like they should have told us in seven but not tell ethan if you understand what i'm saying like 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 say okay, yeah. like see like like or Chris or Mia somebody says be like, you know, does he know he's infected or does he know you know he's dead or something, and and Mia or somebody would be like, 
we'll tell him later or was something something and then it pans out and that's like even at the helicopter scene in re7 they're in the they're in or like they're in the helicopter or whatever and then they're like uh mia's like talking to chris he'd be like you, does he know he's does he know and they'd be like he all he says is just don't and then that's it like that would have been like wait what yeah see, i like more. that I, yeah i like that i like that see alex i love that that, that builds up a mystery yeah what is he not telling him what is it you know you get to theorize like oh yeah, maybe like, it's something know, about yeah, his wife he... but no it's just he's mold man yeah like they could have whatever. done that so much better whatever that I, it just seemed like they used it to i don't know i don't know i mm. i i uh, what, well, where are we at right now? Um, Probably the funniest, the next part- but boringest part in the game. Yeah, it's uh, as simultaneously the best and worst part of the game is mm-hmm. you to play you as play Chris Redfield. Hound, you play as the Hound, the Wolf yeah. Squad. They could have done that way better, by the way. First off, this starts off like a fucking Call of Duty campaign, dude. I thought it was. I thought it was. I I'm thought watching it was this too. like. This is a this is straight up a level for Modern Warfare for <laughs> sure. Like that outlook, like with the guy with the sniper and stuff. And I'm like, mm-hmm. you guys are straight up like just Modern Warfare right now. Mm-hmm. But but uh, yeah, this is both the best and worst part of the game. Like like all at the same time. So mm-hmm. so like you you're playing as Chris Redfield with infinite ammo, and and oh, you're running yeah, through dude. this thing with grenades, killing all these people. I felt super strong, but you know you can get that gun in New Game Plus. Hey, really. Yeah, I already got it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. At the very end, when you get like the, all those points to unlock yeah. like figures and stuff, you can unlock the gun for New Game Plus, and I did. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, so I'm going to use it for when I start New Game Plus. Ooh, sorry. Sorry, Achievers. I got my second dose of the vaccine. I think, I'm, I think it's in mm-hmm. now. But um, mm-hmm. like I was saying, uh, I'm, I apologize. I keep losing my footing. Chris Redfield is playing throughout that, that level. Mm-hmm. I, I like I felt so strong. I like playing as Griffin Devil. Like I want him back in the games. I, I'm yeah. I've told you constantly and the achievers constantly, Ethan Winters mm-hmm. is boring. He's boring. Yeah. I told my wife he is white protagonist number two. Like he is that is that is the storybook cut out of a man, white protagonist number two. What the hell is that? What the and hell is there a reason why we never see his face? I the the like, I like, think the so director was, said like it, it it's meant to be you. I'm like, are mm. you? Are you, we're not? Chi- I, and again, I'm, I never mean now, to mean here, but are, somebody, we're not children. We so know somebody it's a person used game. some type of program and actually was able to find that was e- fake. Ethan when that was, it, that was, was that fake? fake? Yeah, okay, that was fake. okay, Just I didn't look into it. No, it's fine. It it it, uh, it like messed up a lot of people. I think the only reason we knew it was fake is because the people who made the game said. That's, That's not real. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was a fan rendition of what he probably looks like, which I mean, mm. he probably does look like that. So yeah, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, it's he, fake. Like, like, no, he probably like looks like that. Because I mean, we've seen half of his face in um, seven, like when he's like covered, like, like you see his mouth. Yeah. You know? So, I mean. I just don't want to see the, well, like, why not? Like, I don't care. It's weird. Again, the director was like, we want you to think you're him or something like. So I'm blonde what i'm not ethan that's not yeah. at no point do i think i'm the play like i am not him yeah like this is not an rpg yeah it's a little different like i'm like like when i feel ownership over a character uh in um it's very topical like in mass effect uh coming out in about 15 hey, minutes hey, as of recording hey, hey i'm ready um i'm gonna show you guys something um on the achievers we'll probably record that tomorrow because this is going live uh, and we didn't have time to do both. So we're going to do that tomorrow for you. Mm-hmm. But uh, like I was saying, like in Mass Effect, you feel ownership because you are choosing the choices and you are interacting with the character. And e- Ethan, he's just a blank piece of paper walking around. Mm-hmm. You can cut out that character and put anyone there. You're not going to, no one cares. Um, but we do the Chris Redfield part. We have that boss fight with the guy again. He's like super strong now and you shoot his back. It's like, mm-hmm. whatever, okay. And you use the drone strike again. This is Call of Duty. So you take out a drone, oh, yeah. like little dot thing, and you're like, shoot it here. And it takes you 20 minutes. And oh you're like this God. the whole time. Like, and then you just see swarms of lichens coming to you. I'm like, come on. I'm going to come on. 10 more seconds. And it's like, okay. I, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works, but whatever. Um, But yeah, the, yeah, the, the Chris Redfield part was okay. Again, it, it, a lot of parts mm-hmm. were cool. A lot of parts were like, Let's uh, get past this. This isn't fun. I'm just killing lichens. Yeah, for, like, and then the fun you find Mia in the fucking thing. I don't. Know. I wonder how long she's been down there. I, 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 what did you? I didn't like that. 
I I I figured it was a I convenient was like plot that. choice, to my opinion. I was like, I was like, Mia's alive. Why would they keep her alive at all? Why? What is like, the point? Why they, would you keep her alive? There's no reason to. And at if she all. was, like, why not bring her back in earlier in the game? And now, why not say anything about it? Why like, not we cause like, a trap, Ethan? I have your wife. Yeah. She's in here. Come save her. Mm-hmm. And, she's and, then, like, boom, and she's like, and she's like, she's like, like on top, like a like a spider, like. <laughs> All right then, that Dark Souls over here. <laughs> um, I know she technically didn't want to kill him. I guess she wanted to like be with him or whatever. But still, mm-hmm. it's, it's kind of it's kind of stupid. We can yeah. all agree, Mia being alive, a little stupid. A little the stupid. way they brought it is stupid. A little stupid. Yeah, a little stupid. Maybe maybe find a better way of doing that like next time. Yeah. Uh, we find Mia. Uh, we get a lot of lore. They're like, you, you're like, here's the lore. This is this is this is lore. Read it yeah. all. When I get this at the beginning of the game, why didn't we get this spread throughout the game? Why is it mm-hmm. like one big dump here? I liked, um, I liked the description of the abilities. I liked that a lot. I really did. I I enjoyed yeah. that. Like each thing had a detailed like. This person's power is this. This is how Kadu reacts in their body. Oh, this person had turned into she has mm. a blood disease where she has to feast on blood. I was like, this is cool. Like this is this is a fun way of describing things in a resident evil world. I very much did like that. I did yeah. like I, I again I don't like that we get one big lord up and not throughout the game to you know like kind of misterize things a little more, but mm. whatever, whatever. Whatever. Moving on. We're at uh after Chris Redfield discovers that part, you move on. You switch to Ethan around yeah, then, right? Switch, yeah, you come back as Ethan. Yeah, and he's like, I'm alive. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and you basically go and beat the game. You have that mm-hmm. short walk through the bridge. There's zombies coming up. I didn't even fight them. I just ran by them. <laughs> I popped um, them in the face. I just ran by them. Got to the boss. Uh, boss fight was pretty easy. I did not find it difficult at it all. Was, it was definitely very different type of boss fight in my opinion yeah felt- comparatively to most of the game yeah i mean because mm-hmm. most of the game is just i don't know i mean yeah i guess so because like most of the game you are kind of just doing one thing over and over again whereas this I don't one know you're why, like but i felt like it's the kind of like dark soulsy type of boss fight like there's no health bar but literally like there was like you know they, you can tell that there yeah. were stages like yeah. as soon as you kill her uh, do something like then she goes in the air then she afterwards the it turns dark things and it shoots at you yeah, i see mm-hmm. what you mean it it did have like boss phases and things so mm-hmm. it was it was it was fun i i, I thought the fight was fun um mm-hmm. but it was you know it was okay um and then you beat her and that's the game uh mm-hmm. they show ethan crumbling Sac- to dust with his sacrifice with, himself with his three little fingers um mm-hmm. you never see his face which i'm like you could just show his face yeah, like, no one cares no one is like oh my god it's so cool he's about to die show him his face like literally i thought when he was looking at the plant thing i thought they were gonna show his face i'm like oh are they gonna do it and no he, he just bah and by the way ethan maybe give him a little bit longer to get away <laughs> they just a tad bit you were a little, quick, a little quick pulling that trigger on that bomb thing buddy Mm-hmm. Uh, but he blows himself up, kills the mold, kills himself in because he is killing the mold. Uh, Mia mm-hmm. gets away with the baby and then cuts to black. Oh no, sorry. Chris Redfield picks up the zombie and like it's a bio weapon, and I'm like, all right. Who I don't even know who any of these people are. And then mm-hmm. <laughs> at game ends, you the get the Hound little, Wolf Squad. You get the Rosemary part. Mm-hmm. We already talked about that at the end. Yeah, I uh, know. We're just gonna sit on that, all right? Yes. Yeah. Just think about what you just did, all right? Achievers, we played through that game again. I like, I liked it just fine. Um, I don't have honestly uh, too much else to say about the game. It was very good, mm-hmm. not great. Alex, yeah, I mean, I I really liked it at certain points, but I I don't I didn't love the game. But now, which one did you like better, seven or eight? <sighs> It's funny because I like pieces of both games. Seven Mm -hmm. lasts a bit too long. um, And there's parts in the game that felt like it was just thrown in to add to add padding time in this game. Mm -hmm. The I did not enjoy the level design. um, The the dialogue was not great. Um, Excuse me. There were whole parts of the game I dislike. Like I said, the Monroe part was not fun to me at all. Mm -hmm. So I think if I have to give it to one thing, I think I'd give it to seven. But it's like it's like. 
it's like that much better because both mm-hmm. things have things I dislike about the game. I love eight's weapon system. Love it. Mm-hmm. Simple, but effective. I feel the difference every time I upgrade something. I feel it and I feel, and it feels good. Like it always yeah. feels, I always feel a little bit stronger every time. Mm. Um, and I see, I think that's why I have to give it a little bit more towards eight because of the open sandboxy feel and the I, weapon system. I agree. And again, like, I feel like it's like right there. Like I, I loved looking for the labyrinths. I love doing the labyrinth puzzles. Mm-hmm. I loved finding the treasures. I loved, Hey, I have this key. Uh, you know what? This opens the one door in the village. Let me go back mm-hmm. and open the vi- Oh, what's in here? Oh, it's an upgrade for my shotgun, or shotgun, sniper, whatever it is. And that was awesome to me. I mm-hmm. really enjoyed that part of the game. I yep. loved that part of the game. That being said, lots of stuff I made fun of throughout the whole game with my wife. Oh, yeah, for sure. Lots of stuff. Lot, it, lots of stuff. I, like every mm-hmm. time this man opened his mouth, I was like, what did he just say? Mm-hmm. I was telling Alex, uh, I was like, I can't. I was trying to make fun of a line, but I couldn't remember it. It's so forgettable. Like it's just hard to remember lines because, like, it's like he says something, I make fun of it, and it just leaves my brain because, like, it's just like mm-hmm. so nothing. Like he's just not saying anything. Um, but yeah, uh, I, it was a fine game. I am excited to see what nine brings. Uh, which for sure there will be a nine. Of course, of course, this sold way too much to, for them not to make it. Yeah. Um, but uh. Thank you so much for watching our spoiler cast. We try to do these every time we find a game that we like, we've both played, and we can get something quickly out for you guys. Indeed. Again, if you're a regular achiever with us, first off, thank you for listening this far ahead. Second, remember, we're going to be a little late tomorrow, so give us a little extra time. We Usually we're hitting that 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're probably going to be hitting a, a Saturday, same time frame, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much. We are going to go play Mass Effect. Yep, because it should be ready in about seven minutes. About seven minutes. And you know what that means. Go Chief. Go Chief.